Morning everyone. Now, I kid you not, in this video, I discovered a way in Blender to make realistic landscapes in 14 seconds. Now, before I show you guys how to do this, I'm going to real quick show a clip of myself doing it in 14 seconds just to prove that it's actually possible. And there you go, 14 straight seconds. Now let's get into how you can actually do this. First off, go to edit and then preferences at the top of your screen and search for the landscape add-on and enable it. Now press shift A on your keyboard, hover over meshes and hit landscape. And there you go, we're 50% of the way done. Now change the noise type to noise rocks and feel free to mess with the other settings like height and random seed. Now after shading it smooth and adding a subsurf modifier, you'll find that we're just a couple boolean modifiers away from turning this into a trypophobia warning. Give it a new material and plug an image texture into the principled BSDF. Then for the image texture, just use any grassy thing that you find online. Now go over to the UV editing tab at the top of your screen and press A to select your entire object. Then, press numpad 7 on your keyboard to go to a top 2D view. Then, press U and project from view. Then, move your cursor over to the left hand side of the screen and press S and scale it way way up, like twice the size of the image. And you're done. It's literally that simple. And I know that like 90% of my viewers use Roblox, so now I'm going to show you how you can bring it into Roblox Studio. Basically, you're going to do exactly the same thing as last time, but instead of adding a subsurf modifier, you're going to add a decimate modifier. Turn the ratio way down to like 0.25, or until the try count in the bottom right of your screen goes below 10,000. After that, just do the same texturing process as before. Now to close that hole on the bottom, select the whole outside edge and press F to fill, then I to inset it, and then just bring that face down a little bit. And there you go. Now as you can see, there really is no difference between the high poly and the low poly version that we made. They're basically the same, so you're not missing out on any detail. Now just use the technique from my last video to export this, except instead of exporting it as an FBX, export it as an OBJ file. Now in Roblox Studio, insert a mesh part into the workspace and set the mesh ID to the OBJ file that you just exported. Oh baby, it's beautiful! Now just set the texture ID to whatever picture of grass you used in Blender. Ah, and there you go boys. Photo realistic landscapes in 14 seconds. And keep in mind, you can make like any sort of sandy or snowy landscape that you want with this method. It doesn't just have to be grass. 